I am a GCP infrastructure engineer at 66 degrees. In this demo video, we are going to look at how you can integrate Cloud IAP with Cloud Run. To talk about Cloud IAP, it is a protective layer which you can add to your service so that only the authenticated people who have been given access will be able to access the application. So anybody who is trying to access from the public internet, if they don't have a authenticated account, they won't be able to access it. So in this demo video, I'm going to show you how you can create a cloud run service, then integrate cloud IAP to it. So as we get started, we have to go to the cloud run in order to create a cloud run service. Now let's click on create service and for the container image URL, I'm going to test with a sample container. If you have your own, you can choose that. And alternatively, if you want to use CI CD, then you can select this option for continuously deploying. I'm keeping the service name to be hello and region to be US central one. And for the CPU location, you can choose as you want. And for the auto scaling, I'm just mentioning it to be 10. And for the ingress, we can either allow all traffic, but for this use case, I'm going to use internal traffic and traffic from cloud load balancing. And this is what we want to add for our service. So for the authentication, we don't want to give require authentication because we are adding a AP. So we can click on allow unauthenticated invocations. And now that we have done the basics, now let's go into the container. So container port, I'll keep it to be 80. And for the connections, we have to go and create a VPC connector. So we can see that there is no existing VPC creator yet. So we need to create a new one. So let's click on create connector. I'm keeping the name to be VPC connector. Region is your central one. Network is kept as default because we didn't create any. And for the subnet, we need to use the custom IP range. And now we have to manually enter which IP range we want. I have 10.8.0.0 and I'm creating a VPC connector. So why do we have this VPC? Because that allows us to access the resource using the private IPs. Now let's click on refresh and let's see if it is listed. And then we can select VPC connector. And once it is done, we can click create and our cloud run service should be up and running. Let's wait for it to be completed and it's done. So this is the URL for our cloud run service. And since we have mentioned the traffic, so if we just try to access it, it's forbidden because it only allows internal traffic and traffic from load balancing, just as you see here. If we had allowed all traffic, then we could have accessed it. Now let's go for cloud IAP. So it is identity and aware proxy. Let's try to create one. So what is IAP? It basically lets us manage access to services hosted on App Engine, Compute Engine or a HTTPS load balancer. So we have a cloud run service, but not anything like App Engine, Compute Engine or load balancer. So instead we need to create a load balancer. So for that reason, we have to create a load balancer to our cloud run service. Let's go for the networking services, load balancing, opening it in a new tab, click on create load balancer. I'll go for an HTTPS load balancing because that is what we want. And for the traffic, it is from internet and global load balancer classic is what I'm choosing. Give it a name. I'll give it load balancer. Let's create a backend service. I'm creating a backend service named Cloud Run. And for the backend type, I need to choose serverless network endpoint group. So that contains App Engine, Cloud Run, or Cloud Functions. So let's choose that. And for the backend, we don't have any serverless network endpoint group. So we'll create one. I'm giving the name Cloud Run. Region is again US Central 1. And the type is cloud run for the service, which we just created is hello. And we can click on create. So once that is done, 
the backend service is now created click on create and we can see the backend service which is being listed click on ok post path rules we don't have much to do so let's go for the front end configuration if you want you can give a name and for the protocol i'm using https and then for the network service tier we have to keep it to be premium because iap needs an https load balancer so for the ip version it's ipv4 and then for the ip address we need to have a static ip address so if you don't have one you can create it for the time being i have one created for myself which is static so the port is 443 for https and for the certificate we need to create one if we don't have any so we can give a name for the certificate which we want let me just type cloud people and either you can upload your certificates with your certificate and the private key or you can also let google create their own managed certificates so i'm creating a managed certificate the real cloud people oh, the real cloud people.com so this is the certificate which i'm going to create click on create and the certificate is now created let's also enable http to https redirect and done so we can just review and finalize before we create the load balancer and create and once the load balancer is ready we can click on the load balancer and we'll have the ip address for the load balancer Let's copy this and go to cloud DNS. So we need to create a zone where we have mapped our domain. So I already have a zone created. So I'm going to add the record set. So I'm going to add the load balancers IP address to the real cloud people.com. I'm going to create the record and I'll also create one for www.therealcloudpeople.com with the same load balancers IP. Now this is created and let's see if it is up and running. So when we try to access the application, we should be able to get. So now the application is working perfectly. So we have the website up and running. We have it working. We haven't applied cloud IAP yet. So let me just go to the cloud IAP. We can see that nothing is here. So let me just reload the page and we can see that the load balancer is listed. So for the IAP, let's turn it on. Click on turn on. And once it is turned on, we need to add principle, which is all authenticated users. And for the permission, we need to give them cloud IAP secured web app user. So only these people will be able to access the application. And the policy is now updated. So now the cloud run service is assigned with IAP. And you can see the cloud IAP's page. Let me just sign in using my email and password. There you go. So the application is now successfully running and we have successfully integrated cloud iap with cloud run thanks for watching i hope you have understood the video this is the cloud pilot signing off